Hey, it's Sasha Avdikov, and welcome to TradersFly.com, where I share with you some insight about trading, investing, and the stock market. Now, in this week's episode, what I'd like to share with you is the definition of a contrarian and should you be a contrarian. So if you don't know what a contrarian is, at least in terms of the stock market, it's someone who goes against the grain or takes an opposite side approach to what the majority of the people do uh, in the stock market. So for example, if everybody's going long or going for the upside and assuming stocks will continue higher, the contrarian would say short. On the other hand, if everybody's thinking the stock market's going to head lower, the contrarian or the opposing view would be for stocks to pop and go higher. So uh, the contrarian approach is typically something that a lot of investors talk about is that, oh, I'm a contrarian or I take the opposite of what the majority does. And you might be wondering, okay, should I be a contrarian and should I do it this way or that way? Or what is the best approach? Well, first off, I do wanna give you some insight that the thing is, is that you never really know where the full majority of traders or positions of people really are. You can see what's happening with the market as looking at the charts and seeing the reflection of what's happening with the effect. So if there's a lot of buying happening, you can see that the stock market has been heading higher, but you never know if you're going to get an influx of more buying coming into the stock market or if you're gonna get a lot of selling. Now, typically, the way I like to approach this is looking at it like a rubber band or stretching things out. So here I have a few uh, rubber bands right here that are attached. So when I look at the market and when I'm looking at trades taking place and you know looking at the charts, I'm actually looking to see how far that stock or the market has been stretched. Now the further that it's stretched from the middle, so the middle would be right around this area, Okay, so looking at the middle between my two fingers right here, you're looking at how far it's stretched from that middle or center point. So think of that center point as a balance beam or an act of balancing, kind of like a seesaw. So that would be your middle point right here. So what you're looking for is how far is it being stretched from that middle or center point. If stocks are moving higher, you can see that it continues to stretch very, very high and then eventually things will come back. The same thing on the opposite end of the spectrum. So if they're pressing lower or stocks are selling off, eventually things will pop back up. And that is because it's overstretched, either oversold or to the upside overbought. So what you're doing if you're a contrarian is you're seeing how far things are stretched from this rubber band or from this center point right there. So from the center point right here, if I did it this way, you can see how far things are stretched either to the right or to the left. And that's really what you're doing is you're looking to see if things are a little bit too high and stocks are moving to that upside, what you wanna do now is be the contrarian and play it short because eventually things will come back down. And the same thing on the other side. If you're seeing stocks moving lower and they're stretched, eventually they'll pop higher. So that way you should be a contrarian uh, going to the long side because stocks are oversold. Now the reason that this contrarian typically works out really well for a lot of people is by the time so many people get into the stock or get into the market and the stock keeps stretching and stretching and eventually things break. So they have to come back. If you keep pushing things to the upside, eventually things have to come back down. So that's really what happens and uh, you know, everything just continues to crumble, especially if you get too many people on one trade or one side of the trade. So if you apply this same concept to the holidays, whether that's holiday shopping or going out to eat at a restaurant, just think about it. If you had a huge influx of people going to one single restaurant, how long you would be waiting to get your food. In fact, you would probably be better off going somewhere else, which would be the contrarian approach. Other people are going to be waiting. On the other hand, if you're going holiday shopping on like Black Friday or when there's a lot of deals, then imagine everybody has this huge influx to go shopping. Whereas in fact, the contrarian approach might be, let me just wait until after January 1st or 5th 
to see if there's any additional deals or sales or after Christmas, and then you get a lot of discounts and breaks uh, because of that. So again, it's the contrarian or the opposite approach. It's just another way to think about things and giving you a leg up on your sales or product purchases. So in the end, typically you do want to stick with the grain. If most of the time the stock market is heading higher, you wanna ride that wave and ride it higher. However, if things get a little too far stretched out, if they just continue moving higher and higher and higher, you have to be mindful that the further something stretches, the further that a stock is going higher, eventually it's going to pull back. So in those instances, that's where you might want to be a contrarian because you're too far away from that mean. Okay, the same thing to the downside. If you get too far away from that average, eventually things come back to that middle. So that's what you wanna do is watch how far things are stretched from their average movement. Now, if we took a much larger rubber band, not like this one, but a, a thicker one, a much bigger one, that one can stretch much further. Or if you take a smaller one, it stretches a lot less. So comparing it into what the average daily moves are, the average weekly moves, or the average monthly moves, you get a sense, an idea of how far a rubber band has stretched, how far from the average day-to-day -day or month-to-month -month or week-to-week -week stretches that it's already moved. And at those instances, if it's too far extended, if it's too far, it ran too high too fast, then it's overstretched and overrun. And that's when you want to go to the other side, be the contrarian, and trade it to the other direction. Thanks for joining me in this video lesson. And if you wanna see some other video trainings like this one, then go ahead, click this link, and when you get there, enter your name and email address, and I'll send you my newsletter. And in that newsletter, we also typically give out uh, freebies, promotions, unlisted trainings, and even discounts to some products when those are released. So that way you get notified when those things happen. And if you wanna see some of my more in-depth trainings and courses and books, then just click the button right below this video and you'll get taken to that page. Thanks again, and remember to do what you love, contribute to others, but most importantly, live life abundantly. I'll see you next time.